Well, because I wrote the book called The New Diabetes Prescription, The Diet, Exercise, and Mindset Revolution. It's really more of a book for everyone in America looking to control weight, whether or not they have diabetes. And I'm writing that because I myself am a type 2 diabetic who lost over 60 pounds and got off all his medications to control his diet, his diabetes just through diet and oh, exercise. Yeah. Uh, starting out, I remember as, as early as being six years old, always being fascinated with what a big pot belly I had. You know, never having any diagnosis of diabetes or, or pre-diabetes going along with that, but just being a fat kid consistently overweight, getting teased for it. But uh, I remember after having uh, some chocolate truffles and uh, filet mignon and some garlic mashed potatoes and two Bailey's Comets uh, and seeing that number flash of a 216 milligrams per deciliter on the screen, I wanted to have another drink. It was complete and utter shock. I was not expecting it that day, any day, to find out that at the age of 22 that I would be a type 2 diabetic. Well, I work out now about 45 to 60 minutes a day for four times a week. Mm -hmm. I am at my target weight. I have about 8% body fat. So that's going to be, for me, at about five foot six. I'm going to somewhere hover between 155 and 160 pounds. I know if I'm going over 160 pounds that I'm, I'm putting on fat. I'm just not gaining muscle, really. I'm, you know, absolutely. It it's actually can be summed up it's quicker than seven steps. The most important thing is to find healthy food that your children will love to eat and phase out the junk food. It doesn't get any harder than that. It's following that principle that is so difficult. Because what you've got to remember is you're going to be picking up your kid. They're going to be wanting some junk food or they're going to want lollipops. They're going to want candy. They're going to pass by the drive through at McDonald's or Carl's Jr. You're going to be exhausted. You're going to have had another wretched day. You have to, at that moment, fight that at that time and make sure that your child still gets a nutritious and healthy meal at the end of the day. Well, you know, th thankfully, a lot of them have come and said, you know, this is so fantastic to have a, a program that tells me so much about the hidden factors that are causing me to have worse blood sugar, more body fat than I really have. People are uh, reading some of the, the reviews. People have learned to that they need to sleep more, that they need to control stress. They're starting to make a connection between... Oh my God, when I'm having a bad day, my reaction to food was this, and this is why. And so they're starting to put those, those connecting those dots. And in doing that, the different, that's what I'm talking about with the mindset part of the new diabetes prescription. What they're learning with that is how to not get fatter. You know, it's like, what does that mean? Well, when you're actually trying to day, out, day in and day out lose weight, 50% of the time, the battle is just not gaining weight on a certain day. You know, it's not every day that you're going to lose weight, but if you can keep the course and just not gain weight when you're more stressed, when you're having a harder time exercising, when your appetite is just fighting you, when your cravings are fighting you, you're going to win the obesity battle. Basically, the most important thing I want people to understand is you are the greatest influence on your body weight. What you eat now is going to affect what you're going to want to crave, what you're going to eat in three hours from now. You are creating your future appetite, good or bad, with what you eat, how you think, what activities you're performing on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, it feels great to be an example of, quote-unquote, just how far can you go with this? Mm -hmm. And what is this? How far can you go with being wretchedly out of shape, knowing absolutely nothing about you know diet or exercise, and through your own means, completely getting off those medications, completely reversing your diabetes, not having any problems with blood pressure or blood cholesterol. In fact, having one of the best cholesterol it's profiles great that one internist has that she's ever seen. The other great thing is to then point out, I am in no way abnormal in what I've accomplished. Anybody can do what I've done. That is the greatest feeling is to just really say, hey, this is something that everybody is capable of doing, you know, having their own little miracle in their own life. And so it, that's, that's the greatest feeling right there.